Hey everyone, today I'm going to be taking you guys with me to work. I'm going to be recording my day in the life as a software engineer, and I'm not really sure where this is going to go. I'm going to try and get as much footage as I can, but we do hardware and software at my company, and the hardware is confidential, so I can't show those things to the public. So I'm really not sure how much I can record, but I'll be talking over, and I'll be taking you guys through my 7 a.m. all the way to my 5 p.m. after work. Usually the first thing I do is try and get into work at about 7 to 7.30, which is really early for a lot of people, but since we have flexible hours, it does not matter when I start, as long as I do my 37 and a half hours at the end of the week. So I like to go early, finish early, and then I still have a good 5-6 hours after work to do whatever I need to do, whether it's work on my brand, whether it's go to the gym, get any food, anything I need to do, any responsibilities, I could do them right after work. So the first thing I do when I walk in, depending on the time of the year, I usually have to take about 10 minutes just to put away all my snow gear because it's so cold outside. And once I get to work, uh, I unpack everything, I get to my desk, and I get right away into either yesterday's ticket or I start a new ticket for today. And these tickets usually consist of two to three days, depending on how serious it is. But they're really small on the team I'm working on, and it's a lot of little things that we need to get done. We're building a whole uh, point of sale system from scratch. Pretty much something like Square, if you guys ever heard of Square, I'll put a picture up here. Once I, at, once I start working early in the morning, I go to about 11 when we have our daily stand-up. Now I'll show you guys a little video of B-roll the office. We get in the corner and we do a little stand-up, and it consists of three things. What we worked on yesterday, what we're working on now, and if we have any issues, if we have anything we want to bring up, usually you talk about your goal of the week or the month or the sprint, you bring that up now. So that for the rest of the day, everyone knows where everyone else is. If I need help, I say, hey guys, I'm having an issue with part number one. And then someone might jump on and be like, hey, I understand how part number two works, let me see if I can help you. And we work together and we try and figure out the problem. After the stand-up is usually when meetings take over, so if you're trying to do something design-wise, you need to make a meeting with the design team, if you're trying to do something that you don't understand with the business logic, you might talk to the biz dev team or to the product team or any of those big teams that deal with a lot of the managing of how the application is going to work overall. Around 12 or 1, we usually take our lunch break in this big lunchroom that we have, and once we're done with our lunch break, we go straight back to what we were doing before, whether it's a meeting, whether it's back into code, making, you know, killing tickets, figuring out bugs, solving mysteries, whatever we need to do. And then we keep going until the end of the day like that. And that's pretty much how a day is like. There's not much to it. It's pretty simple. Um, where it gets more complicated is when there's an issue. So if something breaks, how it goes through the company, that, that's kind of really subjective to the company. So if, for us, let's say, if we have an issue on production, Usually the first thing that happens is either a customer picks it up and it goes to the customer service team or our DevOps team figures out or someone does a little bit of QA and figures out there's an issue. Or we use New Relic, which I'm sure not a lot of people know what it is, but it's actually a monitoring tool that you can use throughout your application. And we monitor everything very heavily so that when one, something goes wrong, we all get a notification on Slack and right away one of the devs jumps on. About 2.30 to 3, I'm usually done my day, so I start to pack up my things and go towards... Uh, the train to go home. But the reason I take the train, even though I have a car, is because I work in downtown, right next to the old port. I'll put a little b-roll up. beautiful area deep downtown so it's not really a good place to have a car so most of the time I just end up taking transit 
because it's easier, faster, and cheaper. Once I get home, I put all my stuff at home, I get in my car, and I go to the gym. And that's pretty much it. The day in as a software engineer. Now, my day might differ a lot from other people's days, but that's how we do it at my company. It's actually really cool and it's really stress-free because you're always at your own pace. So that's it. That's what my day is like. After work, I go straight to the gym, then I get back home and I start working on a video, I start working on some new products. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next one.